wise, if people do start to get sad or they do start to feel empty or lonely in these retirement years, what are some coping strategies other than hobbies that you guys like to recommend or would like to tell people? Because obviously we can say, oh, just go hobbies, but there could be more mental things going on, right? Like even if you are filling up the time, there could be this loss of purpose. And what do you do to kind of help fill that mental gap? Well, the one thing that I usually always suggest, and it doesn't matter how old you are, I always suggest exercise. And whatever exercise or activity looks like for you, it's, mm -hmm. it's so important to mental health. There's yes. such a connection to building those endorphins and, and giving yourself that ability, that little leg up. Like, mm -hmm. we all need a little <laughs> help. Mm -hmm. And exercise or activity really helps. I say activity because not a lot of people no. love exercise. But if, like, you like nature walking, go on a mm -hmm. nature walk, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's really broad. Yeah. It, it absolutely is filling that time with routine and structure yeah. and, and, and exercise and healthy daily habits, even making sure that you're eating appropriately and making sure you're getting enough quality sleep and following up with doctor's appointments and all of that kind of stuff is all crucial. And Elena said, um, you know, exercise looks different. It's really just activity, just making sure that we stay mobile to whatever our level is, because that does change over lifetime, you know, and, and we'd be like, well, I used to run five miles a day. I'm not doing anything but running. Well, that changes and we can't always do that yeah. to find something that fits into that day. And if that's a chair exercise, then do a chair exercise. If that's walking up and down the driveway, it's walking up and down the driveway. All of them have health benefits and also it helps with the endorphins and the chemicals in the brain, no matter what yeah. we do. Yeah, I know. Uh I mean, like you guys are saying, you don't have to be a CrossFit athlete at 75 or no, anything no, like that. No, you can no. just stay active. Yeah. Um, I know we have this one guy outside our office and I always drive by him because he's doing it right as I'm going into the office. But older guy, probably in his 70s, and he always just goes for a walk with two five pound weights in his hand. And yeah. he's always doing it every single day. And yeah. he he's pretty he's pretty built. I mean, he's old, but he's got some muscles. And uh, <laughs> there's another guy who around the same time, he's a little bit further up the road, Davenport. And uh, he just cleans up roads. That's his way of staying active. He takes a garbage bag and a pick and he just cleans up the roads. And I'm like, what a cool way to stay active and, you know, feel valued. 